Hey, I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Hope you're doing well. I want to talk with you today about controlling your mouth. That's a good topic, right? I hope you haven't have <laughs> hope you haven't disconnected or turned off your podcast or your Facebook feed or YouTube after hearing that. But in all seriousness, controlling our tongue, controlling our initial hey, I got to say that or I got to say it this way um, can be very crucial. Actually, it is very crucial to our ability to witness to others. It's crucial and critical for our ability to show the love of Christ to others. Because if we can't control our mouth, if we can't control our tongue, what does that mean? It means the things that are coming out of that part of our body, out of our mouth, is what's in our heart, what's in our mind. Yes, we're gonna, I lose my temper at times. I say things I shouldn't, and everyone does. But if you're consistently and constantly saying things that you shouldn't, then you've got to really look inside what's causing that. What's the deep down root issue? Is bitterness, frustration, anger, hurt, pain, whatever it is, you've got to get that right with God. We have to be a very aware of our words. A word, especially today in our society, words offend people. Words have heavy weight on them today. And I'm not saying, hey, back off on how you do your witnessing or how you talk about Christ. I'm talking about the other side of when you're saying something that you shouldn't because you're saying it out of anger or disgust or frustration. Watch your words. Watch what you say. And then be honest with your words. Don't lie. Don't twist the truth. Don't manipulate the situation with your words. Because there's might be, there might be someone in that room or in that conversation who knows the full truth. And here you are as the Christian, right? The ethical one. The one who has Jesus Christ in his heart. But you're misleading people. What does that do in that person's life if they don't have a relationship with the Lord? Or what does it do in their life if they do have a relationship with the Lord? So you have to be very careful with your words because they have meaning, they have power, they have influence, so you don't want to twist them. And then don't just spout out. Be, be in control of your words. Really have a thought process before you say something. Check it and verify it. Does, is this the right time to say this? Is it the appropriate time to say it? Sometimes you have the right thing to say, and I, I, mean, I am guilty on this one. Sometimes I have the right thing to say, but it's not the right time to say it. Or I have the right thing to say, but I don't say it the right way. You know I'm talking about that, right? I mean, you can say the right words, but your face or your tone or the situation can make it totally different. So when I say control your mouth, that's what I mean. Be sensitive. Be compassionate. Be wise. Be meek. Be humble. And as you know, I've said this before, but I'm saying all of this to myself as well. How we engage with others in our words. And this can be written as well, correct? Emails, text. Oh, I, I try to work in my life now when I get a text message or an email from someone that makes my neck start to turn red. I can feel the, the, the heat of the frustration coming on. I try to wait 24 hours to respond to those. Because I know if I respond in my words, in my flesh, they're not going to be very nice. I'm going to be very direct to the point and I'm just going to say it and it's not and it's going to come out exactly the way I mean it. So I have to back up. And I have to control my mouth or my texting or my emails to get the right message across. Because what we need to be concerned with is how does God view us? How does God view Nathan Tabor? How does God view you? How are we being a walking billboard or testimony to others? What do they see when they see you or what do they see when they see me? And we, we should be directing them towards Christ. So I want to encourage you, just control what you're saying, how you say it, when you say it, 
it will bring more joy and more peace and more harmony. It will take away conflict and hurt that you do to others, and it's something that will really benefit you in your life. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. If you want to learn more about this ministry, about this outreach program, please visit handlinglife.org.